Professor Wanapsa, welcome to the funeral house of the late Tutu Angulube here in Kabwe. I know you were a very good friend with the, the late sharing friendship for a long period of time. How do you feel and what can you say and your words of consolation to the people of Zambia and the family at large because this moment is indeed a very, very difficult one to each and every person who knew Tutuangulube, especially to the PF where he was part of for a long uh, period of time and to all his clients. Uh, let me start by saying I'm very bereft of words or I'm very miffed. I'm very raboused, I'm bedazzled, I'm perplexed, I'm nonplussed, I am disoriented, I'm discombobulated, or in simpler terms, I am very bamboozled that I stand today on this soil where each and every time I could junket into this homestead place of abode or rendezvous to come and see my late associate Tutu Angulube. It could be full of ecstasy, euphoria, and idemonia, or if you like, in simpler terms, yaba daba do. And for me to stand or to sit on this like liner in this rendezvous to dolorously, abysmal, or lacrimonically speak about the demise, the death, or if you like, the quietus of my late academic. A friend or associate who was an academic or legal luminary or Lola Parusa or in simpler terms Panjandram is indeed uh, very sardonic and very lugubrious. Uh, Tutwa and I shared friendship for an epoch of time or Donkey Sundays. We come from a long way. The level of camaraderie and consanguinity between us was on a different echelon. I remember we were together at the University of Zambia. We confabulated we juxtaposed, we conglomerated in trying to chew the fat, to brainstorm, tap academic abilities and take to our various places. And uh, having him not being there today is indeed very sardonic, very malevolent and very, very lugubrious indeed. But as usual, they say, Payavantu, uh, Pashalavantu, according to the Bemba, Apothegym, Aphorism or Maxim, if you like, in simpler terms and my humble plea to the family or to the people of zambia uh, in this grief moment is that uh, let us not be in abject urulation as tutua was a very believing man in the christianity ethos just like he earlier asseverated in one of his parliamentary debates that zambia the pf and tutua himself was still going to be a Christian come what may. Tutwa Nguluwe was a man of hierophantic candor and puritanical excrescence who always apotheosized, in simpler terms, emblematized the word of God at all costs. Therefore, whatever kefafos, whatever didirian, whatever serpentine, labyrinthinical and octopoidal uh, situations that we are faced with today, let us always look unto the continents of the Lord because he has the panacea, he has the recourse, or in simpler terms, he is the only wherewithal out of this topsy tavidam or higodi pigodi situation that has fallen upon us. I rest my case.